All right, everyone, it's been a wild week when it comes to healthcare. No real surprise, because <laughs> why wouldn't it be? It's been a wild year for healthcare. Uh, Trump is, has said something very, very intelligent the other day, which is that for years and years, Congress kept saying they wanted to repeal and replace Obamacare, and as soon as he got into office, you've got Republicans that aren't willing to do that. He's right, uh, and that's actually a winning thing to say, I think, uh, because it's going to generate some frustration, I think, among the Republican base, which is half Trumpite Republicans, uh, against the people that are holding out against ACA uh, reform, so-called. What I would say, though, on the side is Ryan Care wasn't a form of reform. It wouldn't have taken away the mandate. It just means you would have been paying a smaller sum to a private entity for lapsing in your coverage. That was so hated that uh, it, it got shelved even by the other never Trumpers in Congress because it was such a dumb idea. And Paul Ryan's approval apparently has tanked so severely he's at sub Hillary Clinton levels. And did you see the other day <laughs> Hillary Clinton's approval, including among her own fans, is lower than Trump's. The media wants to constantly talk about how people oh, don't really like Trump. They hate Hillary a lot more. Number one, because she lost. People don't like that. Uh, they, th they feel betrayed. Number two, what she did to Bernie Sanders. Number three, she's just a slime ball, and people keep dying when they try to investigate her a little bit too much. Now, you can criticize Clinton, and you're probably okay, but if you actually attempt to investigate literal crimes and wrongdoings, like on a journalistic level, yeah, you probably end up, act you commit suicide. All these people, they just get so depressed. Is that they dedicate a few months of their life to it, and they get close to the big, the big win that's going to get them all sorts of journalistic awards and kudos from the Trump admin and probably uh, heroic medals and everything else and public adulation. They just uh, randomly kill themselves over and over again, including they leave uh, suicide notes saying, oh, there's no foul play here. Absolutely no foul play. I just got depressed, decided to off myself. Yeah, I got sick, so I decided to kill myself. Yeah, it just makes perfect. And then the coroner always rules it a suicide within the first day. Never any investigation. Uh, but that's a little bit of a tangent. Uh, on the health care issue, though, uh, then you had McConnell care. And McConnell care was sort of a half assed approach, too. And I'm not surprised that that failed. And, and honestly, it was good for the Trump administration that it did. It's better to fail than to pass something that will fail in the future 10 times harder. The problem for Trump is that his prediction of Obamacare failing is probably accurate. But if he attempts to insinuate any solution that will also lead to failure, then he has to own it. Then it would be Trump care that was failing, not Obamacare. The problem with that is even if Obamacare was going to fall flat anyway and collapse, people won't recognize that. They'll say, oh, if we had only kept Obamacare, it would have worked. And that would be that would be a winning line for the Democrats. It said, well, Healthcare was fine. Look at all these smiling faces that got healthcare for the first time. And he took that away, put in Trump care, and it collapsed because he's a moron. And they would run on that. It would give him a platform. It would give him a platform to run on, at least one. You know, you need at least two or three others uh, in order to make a campaign, but it's a start. And he'd be handing that to them. What Trump needs to do now is abandon healthcare reform. His idea of just letting it fail is probably the best thing to do because it probably will. Obamacare has been shaky from its very inception. Do you remember the rollout? Uh, to the other Republicans, to the Republicans in Congress that are like uh, trying to stonewall his attempts here, you do realize that from day one, Obamacare was a failed program. And it was never particularly popular until people saw that the alternatives that people like Paul Ryan were offering them were worse. Ryan Care was worse than Obamacare. Yeah, we'll get rid of the mandate. We'll make a new mandate. Yeah, instead of paying Uncle Sam for not having health insurance uh, in the form of a tax, which is what it was ruled by the Supreme Court, if you lapse in your coverage that you've already obtained, including millions of you, by the way, that, that got it subsidized under Obamacare that'll no longer have it, you're going to have to pay a private entity. It would cause utter uh, mayhem politically because all those millions of people would be real real pissed off and some of them they're not like far left they just happen to be a uh, uh, less well off some of those people are partisan republicans they get health care they're like yeah i don't feel good about getting obamacare and it's probably it's probably substandard care anyway 
but at least I have it. I got a little bit covered. I got something out of it, and Trump took it away, and, and it'll be seen as Trump's problem, even if the legislature is the one that has to design the fucking deal. So if you just let it collapse, as it probably will, then Trump can come out and say, I told you so. Now it's time for the Republicans to get into action. This won't work. We need to do something else. And he can always. And, and this is what he'll do. By stripping back the mandate and some of the subsidies and so forth, it'll collapse faster. But that doesn't, he'll be seen as bullying for that, but it'll be only the left that perceives it that way. It will collapse anyway. Obamacare has had problems since day one. It's not a stable uh, solution. It's not even a form of reform. It's certainly not an affordable care act. It's a high tax care act that's paid for by people uh, who, are, who are productive in order to subsidize other classes of people. So be it, by the way, but Obama wasn't honest about that fact. He's, oh, if you like your doctor, you can keep your plan. You can keep your doctor. If you like the health care you got, yeah, you're fine. Don't worry. You're not going to get fined. No more cost increases. We'll hold the cost increases down. Bullshit. Hasn't happened simply hasn't then then they uh, spawn the mythology this is a funny one they're like oh 10 million people will lose coverage under Obamacare I mean uh, under Trump care and yet only a few of those millions of people actually gained new coverage under Obamacare to begin with it wasn't 10 million you're talking about a bunch of people that made uh, made a uh, uh, use of expanded medic I think Medicare or Medicaid whichever one it was they those get mixed up constantly so it has nothing to do with Obamacare. It has to do with pre-existing government programs that have their own fucking problems, by the way. Uh, Trump should abandon it. He should focus on tax reform. He's already started the, the deportations and the blockage of refugees from countries and stuff. That already happened. And he already managed to secure, uh, ideologically, the Republican Party's support on at least laying the groundwork for his wall. Those are good. And he stopped the TPP. That was, uh, you know, victory number one for the Trump admin. The ACA stuff, though, has not been a victory for the Trump administration. It's been a fucking disaster for the Trump administration. Can we be honest at this point and say, it doesn't really matter whether the Democrats stop him, a couple Republican holdouts stop him, or it's just a bad bill because Paul Ryan happened to be involved. It's not a victory for him or for the Republican Party. They need to abandon it and move to other signature legislation. Tax reform can win. I believe, this is my belief, a lot of Trump's core fans sprinkled around the country voted for him because they thought he'd mass deport 10, 15 million people, which won't, by the way, happen. The Democrats worrying about that are delusional. The Republicans hoping it'll happen were always delusional. I warned of this in the middle of the campaign that it was never going to happen. If you listen to what he said, it was quite clear it wasn't going to happen. But tax reform could win over more business Democrats. Those are people who have sided with the Democrats because they felt in the past the Republican Party didn't represent the working and middle classes. They felt they only represented the CEOs and the bankers. Right now, who represents the CEOs and bankers? The Democrats do. They've, they've taken up the big money platform now as part of this paradigm shift. All you need is for the Republican Party to implement tax reform that at least looks like it favors the middle and, and working class and the Republican Party steals probably a few more million voters from the Democrats. They won't win the popular vote the next time around. Doesn't matter if Joe Trump is bigoted, Trump is, is a lunatic in foreign policy. Doesn't matter. People are going to vote with their wallets. That's the big victory for the Republicans right now. It'd be a big victory for everyone in the country. Growth probably could hit 4 or 5%. It's probably, yeah, it's probably possible to do uh, with proper tax reform. Right now, you've got a convoluted uh, tax code. It favors multinational firms at the expense of local businesses. It favors people who are essentially, they're very wealthy, but they're not part of the productive classes over people who are on the wealthy-ish side, but they are productive. It favors established businesses over upstarts and entrepreneurs through the self-employment tax and all of these things. It's literally a topsy-turvy tax code. It favors exactly the wrong groups of people. If you want growth, you have to favor those other groups that have been disenfranchised by inverting the tax code largely. So, and, and Bannon has alluded to this in part, you could say, generate millions of jobs, it'd be easy to do. And if Trump can win on this, 
Of course, then, what if the Republicans, what if uh, John McCain says, oh, no, because Raytheon might have to pay 2% more in taxes. I can't support this. It's bad for America. I think Trump can ideologically browbeat them into line on such an issue. I think it would be easier than with the ACA. Because with the ACA, the policies designed in the first two cases fell through because they were shit. And they deserved to die as bills. The policies Rand helped insert were good, but then you had holdouts, so that failed. Well, third time's a, a doom. You, you can't keep doing this over and over and ignore every other issue. It's not possible to do. Move to tax reform. Get your wall funded. Uh, move to that issue. Continue the deportations that are occurring, which Trump openly said would happen. There have been a significant number. Shore up the border. Muzzle Jeff Sessions and, and probably do a 180 on marijuana would be another good uh, <laughs> example of a platform the Republicans uh, can win on. They can. And, that, and that's a wrap. That's all you need to do for your first uh, couple of years. Going into the midterms, the Republicans carry it. And then you can continue. Then, then you can go, after the midterms, worry about the ACA. If you have to invoke the nuclear option and you actually have a good uh, idea of reform, then so be it. But Trump has also put out mixed messages here. Uh, two days ago, he says, well, we'll just repeal Obamacare. Now he says, I'm not even going to touch the issue. We're not going to own it. Let's just let it collapse. It's sort of, uh, which one do you want to do? If you repeal it, millions of people will lose coverage and subsidized coverage. Um, and it'll go back to the slightly more Wild West style of health insurance. But there won't be any mandate, at least, to deal with. So you could, that could be a win for the Republicans. Saying just, well, we got rid of Obamacare. As far as Trump's core fans, you, know, you probably love the idea. Letting it fall flat means that everything remains in effect until it does. That might piss off some of the core fans, but it takes pressure off the more centrist Republicans and doesn't make them feel so uncomfortable. Trump has to choose one or the other, though. He can't do both. Either you wait and let it collapse, or you just get rid of it, and then you move towards reform in the future. You can't really do both. If you repeal it, it's not there to collapse. If you're leaving it to collapse, you haven't repealed it. So Trump's uh, got those two options. He could also try again, but it's a <laughs> what would be the purpose, essentially? Your best hope is to wait until after the midterms. The Republicans may very well make gains in the Senate making it very difficult for the Democrats to stand in your way. As far as the House, there are still some real optimists in the Democratic Party saying, oh, we can take back the House. I don't think so. You got quite a bit of, uh, of ground to make up, and you still don't have a platform. So unless Trump or the never-Trumpers hand you a platform by doing stupid shit like continuing to ramble about the ACA, you, you probably won't have a platform. Your attempts in the midterms, they'll be well-funded, but they'll be so sporadic. They'll be so poorly coordinated. It's like, why even bother? These special elections, case in point. You run these disastrous campaigns where you're outraising and outspending the opponent by 5, 10 to 1, and you still end up losing, what, 4 or 5 of them, I think. That's not great considering you're running on Trump is unpopular as a platform. It shows that you're more unpopular. I don't know what they're thinking. And I don't know what people like Paul Ryan are thinking. Paul Ryan needs to be removed from office. They need to not just, they don't need to wait and then primary someone against him and kick him out that way. They need to recall him immediately. They need to get rid of Paul Ryan. Nobody likes him. Even the other like uh, neocons in, the, in Congress don't like Paul Ryan. Republicans, people who share the same partisan branch and the same ideology don't like him. They just hate his attitude. He's an unlikable individual. People just find him moronic and creepy. It might uh, not help him that he has the sad puppy dog look all the time and he's apparently not even capable of cracking a smile. You know, oh, I just won the lottery and then the party just won. And they're talking about giving me the Medal of Freedom, but I, you know, and he tries to smile, he just can't. He's unable to do so. You know, I feel sorry for him for his uh, significant disfigurement or whatever is going on with his pr his problems in life. And he needs to go. McConnell needs to go. Turtle Man needs to go. Uh, put Rand in his position. Get Rand Paul in there to replace Mitch McConnell, and you'll probably have a lot fewer problems in the Senate. Replace Paul Ryan with anybody, and you'll have fewer problems in the House. It's just sort of the way it works. Harping on the ACA 
is no longer it was a winning issue the first time around when paul ryan came and said oh now i can have my way ha 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 that's when the death knell of of healthcare reform really began for the republicans it's still a popular issue congress still wants to get rid of it now they can't uh, agree on what to replace it with so it's almost like if they had had that super majority they needed to override like an obama veto and they tried to do this when he was in office it probably wouldn't have worked back then either it would have been a dumb attempt they attempted to repeal it over and over they held votes in the boehner congress uh, over and over to try to get rid of it <laughs> it never prevailed it was like why do you keep doing the same thing over and over and over people get bored of the issue they no longer even care they're just like leave it the fuck alone let it collapse on its own take trump's advice uh and congress may uh, uh actually be able to get some work done that's about all peace out